Oh, here we go. Fade to black. Is it just going to be like straight, like trailer after trailer after trailer? Will there be some actual talking from developers? Guess we'll see. It's not a Jason Derulo music video. Cinematic trailer, not actual gameplay. So you're starting off with a high bar then. I want to see gameplay, not cinematic trailer. That doesn't mean anything. Login. Take their money. Isn't that just what you do anyway? You want to know about us? Seems like everyone does these days. It's simple. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. Games are not worse. political. <laughs> yes, they are. So, we decided to do something about it. Let's go. It's not a battle royale, is it? Oh, is this going to be copyrighted? Watch Dogs. Battle Royale. Yeah, free player co-op thing. Extraction shooter, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. Like, teams are free. Fight each other. Like the finals, maybe. Which is dog shit. If you ain't got it, then you can't flaunt it. Pull up Lamborghini and Sonic. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Fair games. Take it till you make it. Well, that's. What an odd way to start the show. That's a nothing burger. Literally nothing from that. Cinematic trailer means nothing. Hi hey, everyone. Hello. I'm Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan. President and CEO I of I personally Sony stopped the Blizzard acquisition deal. I'm delighted to be here today to introduce what's next for PlayStation 5. We're now into the third year of the life cycle of PS5. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> we've been fortunate to have so many fan favorite titles released on the platform. What's even more exciting is that developers are just scratching the surface of what's possible with the gaming Just scratching? I don't think they're even they touching create. it. Hello, Today, Jax. you'll get a glimpse into some of the most breathtaking and imaginative content that will be coming to PS5 and PlayStation VR 2. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. I'm gonna find you. Kill you in your sleep. Where's the 4K option? Super Earth. Our home. Our way. Is it a strategy life. game? But freedom doesn't come from Anything from Naughty Dog today? I don't know. No. Sweet liberty! No. <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. But it's a cinematic trailer. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Halo. Join the Hell Divers. Hell Divers. Arrowhead. Experience true freedom. God, the frame rate's bad. <laughs> the frame rate's really bad. And secure the resources we need to build a better tomorrow. The freedom to encounter fascinating life forms and introduce them to our sophisticated technology. The freedom to make new friends 
and represent the best of what Super Earth has to offer. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force and work together to spread prosperity, liberty, and democracy. So four player co-op wave shooter thingy. Become part of something larger than yourself. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a hell diver. Me. Okay. Oh, hell divers two. Hell diver may result in decapitation or morbid occasion. I think I Not actually played the first one. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. The first one was top down, wasn't it? Sir. Well, that was Harry Potter then. It's the hand. Follow. It's the hand. Oh. This game's got like a really forgettable name. Yeah, I don't... People are like excited about this. I don't think it looks very good. I think it looks really forgettable. Unreal Engine 5. EA. It's gonna run like shit. Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Jury's still out on that one. Such generic character design. Lich Dom Battle Mage. The FOV is so low in these trailers. Got machine gun magic. Got shotgun magic. Got sniper rifle magic. Assault rifle magic. Grenade launcher magic. We haven't given them enough yet. Your men killed my family. Boo hoo. <laughs> It looks like a corridor shooter, but it's got magic instead of bullets. The Immortals of A Avium. Avium. It's out soon. Got such a f generic, forgettable name. I feel like that's just gonna not sell at all. One more level. Is it a bike game? I actually want a bike game, like a, a like a combat bike game. So I played that bike game in Judgment. There was a mini game to play like an old bike game and it was awesome it's first person oh it's ghost runner is it ghost runner 2 i don't i didn't like ghost runner either i thought it was a bit meh i played it was on playstation plus i played a bit of it just didn't control well didn't feel very fluid Felt pretty stiff. What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. There is no plan. Over the shoulder third person game. <laughs> Sony, in a nutshell. Just run away. Who's that? It won't make any difference at the end of the day. You know better than anyone else. That 
no one could escape. Is it a souls like? <laughs> this is a real face. Pinwheel. You like free masks. masks. What secret did you sell them? PS5 Pro announcement. There is not going to be a PlayStation 5 Pro. There might be a a slim model, but there won't be a Pro. Ghost of Tsushima 2. No, please. Ghost of Tsushima was super average. Unless they really improve it in the sequel. I'd take a day's gone to, but they're not going to make one. The best you could hope for with Days Gone 2 is like the original developer making their own like spin off, spiritual successor thing. But what is game? There's no UI. This could be all bullshit. This could be a cutscene. I mean, it looks... It doesn't look real. In terms of playing it. Time that doesn't work. We've seen that in Zelda. Phantom Blade Zero. Again, another extremely generic name. Plan. Knowing you have only sixty-six days to live. Get my heart back. <gasps> Coming to PS5 trademark. I haven't heard of the PS5 trademark. Journey. <laughs> Abzu, the pathless, and Journey. Well, but is it going to be a Journey too? Kind of deal. His sword is a hoverboard. Kill a bunga, dude. The journey was shit. <laughs> it wasn't a video game. There was no video game in the game. Sword of the Sea. So you go around hoverboarding on sand to make the sea appear. It's a lot of nothing so far, in my opinion. Is this a that new world awaits you. Full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. Talos Principle? No. Think of the world we could build if we believed in ourselves. If we used AI. <laughs> if we truly believed in what it means to be sentient. 
to face the universe without fear or delusion. So many of these trailers don't tell you anything about the fucking game. Imagine vast cities full of life and light. Just trailer after trailer without actually Great telling you anything. rising towards the sky. So much it is a possible. puzzle game, isn't it? It's t the Talos Principle. If we believed. If we still have faith. Uh -huh. So the, it's just a puzzle game, and that made it look like it was like a big, massive open world game where you could like fly around. It's just a puzzle game with like rooms, like Portal. <laughs> These trailers are so bullshit and misleading. I fly, I die. Sif. Someone's in a positive mood today. I'm just being serious. I'm in a good mood today. I'm just being real. I'm keeping it real. No bullshit with these trailers. I think most people have had enough with these kind of trailers. Trailer montages that don't tell you anything. I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon Ishin. I'm in a great mood. I die. No! Sif! So what's the game? <laughs> I feel like this, like, the actual tone and the story isn't what you should be showing off first. It should be the game. Then you can find out what the story and tone is when you play it. Never, never gonna play that game. But um, shh. Is this Cat Quest? Massive AAA game. <laughs> Cat Quest, parts of the Peribian. You please don't tell me they decided to do this with only what they're showing. Surely. It's been two years since the last proper showcase, apparently. And you're showing this? This kind of stuff? Oh dear. Cinematic trailer. Cinematic trailer. Cinematic trailer. Cinema Square Enix. Gun. Chain gun. Please don't be a live service game. It's a live service game, isn't it? I think it's a hero shooter, isn't it? Oh no, it's another free v free fucking thing! Now I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. It's a showtime! Another game that's gonna die instantly. Why did they announce these games that don't have any story with, like, story cinematic trailers? Like, these games are all about just actually playing the game, and they don't show the fucking game. Like, it could be anything. This could be Candy Crush. The game- the gameplay could be Candy Crush. We don't know. That's the game. It looks dog shit. The vis like it looks so low res. <laughs> look how low res the characters look. They're so blurry and fuzzy. 
It's Splatoon, isn't it? Square Enix is Splatoon, but with clouds. Or like candy floss. The game doesn't look like this. Ready for the foam star party? Oh, it's foam, yeah. Is that what I said? That'll die instantly, just like Destruction All Stars did. Oh, this game, where you jump off the page and it's 3D. Welcome to the land of This Mojo. game actually looks good. Here we find Jot, the plucky squire, and his friend, Violet, Thrash. And Pip. Our heroes protect the land from the villainous sorcerer, Hungrump. They adventure to the edges of their realm. Literally. And even beyond. beyond. There, Jot finds a whole new world to explore. It's got with a very dangerous, like, surprising Nintendo kind of like Yoshi furnished look to it. Or Kirby, our heroes Dream must battle world thing. Grump across the two to it. realms if they are to save their beloved land from his diabolical designs. So you can Off interact the with the 2D bit while in 3D. Adventure. X marks the spot. Tear down. I haven't played this. But they're bringing it to PS5. Okay. So it's an announcement of a port. This is not what anyone was expecting. People were expecting Bloodborne Remaster, Metal Gear Solid Remake, Ghost of Tsushima 2, and they're getting nothing along the short so far. I don't know how long the, the showcase is. But... Oh my god. If it continues just to be games like this, People's expectations were way off the mark. They're not bad games, they're just not the games or the scale of games people want. Like, I'd like to play this. It's out on PC. And it is like an actual mission based game. You have to, like, complete the mission in any way you can with, like destruction and, like getting out of there but the, the maps look pretty small it's like hitman but you can blow shit up <laughs> blow the buildings up like that PS5 <laughs> this year Not actual gameplay, isn't that great? Why bother? <laughs> Lego and Minecraft are going to sue them? You can't sue... You can't copyright the voxel art style. Pikmin. Realistic Pikmin. Cinematic trailer. Is this Metal Gear Solid 3 remake? It's got the right setting for it. You heard some gunfire, the electric fences, shock fences are in Metal Gear Solid 3. It's gonna be like, the apex predator is Snake. He's the, the most dangerous of them all. 
If it is a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, then it's the best one to remake because it the controls are a nightmare. Yep. Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. I just played it last year. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Because the game has such a much bigger scope than the second game, but it has the same controls and the controls don't really fit with the expanded the scope. And so the night. it's a really what good a fit, I think, to make free the remake. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. Metal Gear Solid Triangle. <laughs> Snake Eater! Ah, and the yeah, okay, Master Collection's coming as well. That was- this- this was all leaked. That was leaked. Which I talked about at the start. Didn't see any gameplay of it though. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 is really good. It's just- the controls let it down by modern standards. They speak symbolics. Lincoln? No Metal Gear games are good. Metal Gear Solid is considered to be like the arbiter of like what modern games are designed off of. Metal Gear Solid is like the first modern game. Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, Peace Walker are brilliant. I haven't played 4 and 5 is bollocks. Five is terrible. Zelda? Towers? Oh no. Not a game with a million towers in it. Final Fantasy 16! Looks really good. The blind march is on. These people live with Oh no! To their is throat. it? Is it yet? Is it? Yeah? You have yeah, it is. For a second, I thought it was Assassin's Creed. Then. But you're helping us already. We never asked to be saved. It's, it's going to be like demo life tonight, and I'm going to go. They'll never forgive us. Do that, please. <laughs> Expectations too high. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. That's all sharp. You better hope so. Crystals take more than they give. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? What the hell are we talking? If they won't give us a say, we'll My name's Sean our Bean. Face another way. Are you with me? You will pay for what you've done. Why aren't you dead? You are the bottom branded! Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. They don't believe in me. They believe in the powers of dominant. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. I'm not sure about their voices. Never led astray by your blind resolve. And thus is the light of hope severed. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves. Dante? And we'll do it on our own terms. Come to me, if What are the dominance? We are but mighty acts of God. Enough of this! I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? We... we shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! The king Darkness of the world? has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. I don't want to be a monster. Clive. I have to yeah, The writing it. and voice acting are not very good. Them. I made a promise to my friends, and it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. 
Your efforts will avail us naught. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. Clive! 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 We need Clive to save us. Clive! Fate will fall. Clive will help you. June 22nd. Say the demo's ready. Say the demo's ready. Say the demo's ready. Say the demo's ready. Say the demo. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Would have been a perfect time to release the demo. I'm trapped here. In this. Nightmare. Alan Wake 2! I write to a Is it a PlayStation 5 exclusive? It better not be. Every word is a step forward. And she walked in looking like dynamite. <gasps> and we all know Jesse is dynamite. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Max Payne's right voice actors rally. in it. The yes. victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So is he still stuck in... So you knew our victim. Only the, the rumors. The darkness, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Writer. The same town. Someone knew they were here. Looks like Keanu Reeves now. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is Ooh. about us. The director's actually in the game. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. Ooh. Oh, you get to play as other characters other than Alan Wake. Please, don't. it looks like Resident Evil 4 now <laughs> yeah it really does there's oh. something i'm forgetting going for a seems like it's going for quite a something different important. gameplay style something's not right easy now first things first what's the, your name what's your name keanu reeves well then, hmm. So it's going for more of a not traditional survival horror, but you know, Resident Evil 4 survival horror. With a more zoomed in camera right over the shoulder. <gasps> Assassin's Creed! Mirage! Please go back to being good, Assassin's Creed. Please! Please! Welcome, Hidden One. Please be good. You have died and been reborn. Ooh, it looks like it looks like Assassin's Creed One. Please have like actual like investigation missions and eavesdropping on people. We need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. You could Actual bribe the guards stealth to gameplay. The other way. I shall see what flavor best suits me. Actual instant kill assassinations. No, no health bars. No levels. No Embrace loot. the fear. Quiet it. Find a stillness. Air assassinations. Eagle vision. Well, I think I'll be buying this then. <laughs> if it's going to go back to traditional Assassin's Creed. Help to the yes. The stage is yours, Basim. We will be watching. October 2nd? October 22nd? October 12th. Mm. Oh yeah, I would have liked to see like a proper gameplay demo, so we could see what the actual UI was like. Footage captured on PC. Ratatouille. Oh, um, this game, Lost in the Woods, something in the woods.
night in the woods. So far, no big name Sony exclusive. Uh, Metal Gear Solid is kind of, t is kind of. When people think Metal Gear Solid, they think Sony. I don't know if it's exclusive or not. I guess we'll find out afterwards. Because Metal Gear Solid One, Two, Three, Four, Peace Walker were all like Sony exclusives. They eventually put. Two, three, and Peace Walker on Xbox. Well, no, they did come out on PC. Like one, two did. Maybe three. But when people think Metal Gear Solid, they think Sony. People are gonna play it on PlayStation. People aren't gonna buy it on Xbox, really. Is this, um, what do they call these games? Because there's like a million of them. Dragon's Quest? Has it got more action-y combat? She's the day. No regrets. Don't you forget. Grand Blue, what? <laughs> what was that? It went so fast. It wasn't Dragon's Quest, but it had a similar art style. Street Fighter 6. I actually played the beta for this like a, a couple days ago, I think. It, I'm so bad at fighting games, so I can't really enjoy them. But what I played of it seems good. Opponents I had to overcome. My journey knows no end. I will continue to do what I have always done. When you said you were seeking strength, despite having no real need to do so. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. Masters, he was set up. I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. It's probably worth looking into this nice shawl business. I feel like it's lost its art style, though. I feel like the characters aren't as instantly recognizable anymore. Bison, he attempted to set the world under his heel through violence. A veritable madman. When you go looking for strength, so it has like an actual story mode where you make your own character. June 2nd. Doesn't really feel like a PlayStation showcase because none of these are actually PlayStation games. Shouldn't they focus on PlayStation games if it's called a PlayStation showcase? Shouldn't it just be like a... Shouldn't these games just be in like a regular, like, Summerfest, Jeff Keighley thing?
So many colors, man. Whoa. Oh, oh, Ultros. These, the fonts they use make it really hard to read the bloody logo. The name of the game. And that's our show. <laughs> How long's it meant to be? It's been 40 minutes already. Perfect World Games. Agoo! Mix. It's got a slightly stop motion y style to it. Jarring jump there. This looks terrible. <laughs> this looks really bad. Oh, oh, is it an a This looks fucking dog shit. What is this? It looks like that Battlefield Heroes game from like 2008. Under the sea. Under the sea. It's like Horizon. Tower of Fantasy. La conviction eat on ya f I can't read that. Capcom. Dragon's Dogma 2. It's got like that Colosseum. Dragon's Dogma 2! It's back! After 10 years! They're making... I think they announced they were making it, but I kind of forgot. And it's even... It looks exactly the same! And that's good. It's got like the same UI elements. It's got Khajiit in it. Has it got like an actual good story now? Is it the same world again? It looks like the same world. Don't do a Legend of Zelda. Wasn't there a big hole in the floor? The dragon's back! What? Oh! We've got like destructible... Bridges. It's got the pawn system still. Hello. It is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy... So they're actually trying to go more in depth with the story. See, Dragon's Dogma, it was just kill the dragon that, like, stole your heart, heart and that was pretty much Welcome it. Welcome back for Whoa. another week of career fulfillment and minimal social And it's very weird. We know how challenging it can be to find a place Five where nights you feel at you truly belong and to find a job that treats you mostly with respect and only in I mean, Dragon's Dogma is amazing, For that reason, but it's we also really frustrating in some ways. The first time around to have you back. Also, there were no they are going to show VR2 stuff, so Jim Ryan said in at the and start. Get motivated to an appropriate degree. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. Five Nights at Freddy. Help. Wanted. Two. Didn't even though there was a first one. <laughs> um, late 2023. I mean, that could be VR. VR. 
for your stuff. Are you actually going to let people buy it? Resident Evil 4 in VR. Are you going to let people buy it in stores and not just from the Sony website? They've come out and oh, said that it's actually done better in launch sales than the first VR, which is hard to believe. See, what's annoying about this is that this is going to be exclusive to PlayStation VR. It's not going to be on PC VR, which is such horseshit. Having exclusive VR is ridiculous. There's already a Resident Evil VR game for PlayStation VR 2. Yeah, Resident Evil 4. <laughs> the, the original Resident Evil 4. This is the remake. VR mode. VR mode? Is it the full game? In development. For, in development? In development? You mean there's no release date for it yet? Are you joking? <laughs> Not actual gameplay. Oh, forgive me, What's Father. What's the point of that in VR, then? I've sinned. Like, a lot. You see... Everything started two years ago. Oh, I think I might know I what this friend. is. And I can't remember what it's called, then, though. It's like I see his face everywhere. And lately, Sunshine, I've started to develop no. some destructive tendencies. One Oof. of the first VR games. What do we have here? Bro. Well, what's a bit of armless fun? Hello, uglies. Blah, 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 blah. Since I met my new best friend, I guess I get a little overprotective. Dead Island 2. Okay, very overprotective. I'd love to sit here all day and chew your ear off. I'll be right out, boy. <laughs> but as you know, time waits for no man. Catch you later, Fred. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Arizona Sunshine, too. Yeah. I knew it was Sunshine. Ooh, looks like today's Something. gonna be a scorcher. Is it VR2 exclusive? Who knows? Smilegate Entertainment. Call of Duty. SWAT? No. Every VR game looks the same. Oh, it's a crossfire game in VR. Oh dear. No, thank you. The target is Colonel Peter Conrad. He was one of ours. Yeah, man. Before he went rogue. We intercepted comms chatter referring to neurosynaptic tech. James Bond. I don't have to remind you what's at stake here. We need that intel by any Very quiet, this trailer. Do you not normalize the volume of, of your trailers? Cutting edge interrogation tech. We're out of time and out of options. We've got to go in. You go inside someone's well, mind, do you? On, then. Let's see what you're made of. Sound like David Hater. <laughs> Dreams. 
As in Impressive. media molecule dreams. This is my mind. My war. My rules. I need you to focus. The clock is ticking. Is it a roguelike? Have to adapt. Yes. Back again? Pathetic! You're heroic to me nothing! You're getting close. You're approaching the center of his subconscious. You think you're a threat to me? I'll never talk! They'll never break me! Synapsis? July 4th. Well, it's out soon. Got some more VR games coming soon. Beat Saber. No, copyrighted. God damn it. What about Half-Life Alex? You've got to put that on PlayStation. You've got to. You don't. It's just ridiculous. Beat Saber. Available now. We have Queen the Music Pack. Not actual gameplay. Oh, good. Why bother? Bungie? Are they making a VR game? I mean, the name of Bungie has been completely sullied. So... It's not like a big deal anymore. Bungie. They make Destiny. A never-ending cash cow. But this will be PlayStation exclusive because they bought Bungie. Got like an Apex Legends kind of vibe to it. Marathon? Oh my god. They're bringing Marathon back after how knows how long? How long ago did Marathon come out? Wow. So PlayStation bought Bungie and were like, make Marathon, please. Bring back Marathon. <laughs> Destiny 2. I don't even know where to begin. You've missed so much. Because I'm not playing it because it's shit. We've slain God. Vanquish nightmares. People who are still Fought playing Destiny have got Stockholm really Syndrome at this point. You've got I to wish stop. You could have been there. You've got to stop playing it. Yeah, me too, kiddo. But hey, I'm here now. What? They're bringing Cade back. Wherever the hell here is. What? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't just kill people off and then bring them back. It has no fucking weight to the death then. An actual PlayStation Studio. Firewalk. Not actual gameplay. But why bother? Ratchet and Clank. Five, four, three. Three gunners. Here we go. 
Concord. What the fuck is it? Why bother? We don't. It means nothing. You've just left people more confused. I'm so sick of these fucking events. I think they do more harm than good. The best of oh, the film players in the world. Will this actually looks place okay. It looks history. actually pretty good. Like tying the game in the real world, but not having. It's not like, oh, you're transported into the game. It's actually like, it makes sense. Using it as like a way to train races. Based on a real story. The actual racer who did the Gran Trismo thing, whatever it's called. You miss E3. I don't miss E3 either. I think these things should just stop happening. Just announce your game when you announce it. Announce it on its own. You don't need to have it all jumbled into one big thing and everyone's forgotten half of it because it all blends into one. Thank you for joining us today. Oh no. Before we get into our final game, oh. I have a few announcements to share. At PlayStation, innovation is our passion. And that applies to not just what games you play, but how you play them. Later this year, we will launch a dedicated oh, device yeah. that enables you to stream any oh. game from your PS5 console using the oh, role play shit. of a Wi-Fi. This is real. Internally known as Project Q, it has an 8-inch HD screen and all of the buttons and features of the DualSense wireless controller. Games must be installed on PS5 consoles. More information in the near future. Mm. I'm also pleased to reveal our first ever PlayStation earbuds, which will bring next generation audio immersion to PS5 and PC. They simultaneously connect to smartphones via Bluetooth. New wireless technology will deliver lossless audio with low latency, giving you outstanding sound quality while you're playing. Look out for more details soon. We hope today's showcase demonstrates our continued commitment to delivering experiences. So you have to have the games installed on the PS5. I want to thank all of you. I don't really understand how any of this stuff works. Can you literally be put play it anywhere? Like anywhere? Can I go to a different country? As long as it's installed on my PS5. Can I play it? Oh, are they actually gonna show No, this ain't Metal Gear Solid. I thought it was. Torok. <laughs> Could be. You grow small in your old age, Sergey. Sergey. A fate you will not share. That, that guy looks familiar. Like I recognize him. I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Pathetic. It doesn't look that impressive. I asked for an equal, and this. Is what you find. Sir, perhaps a new hunting ground. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Oh yeah, I thought he was from Spider-Man. Yeah, that's what I recognized him from. So it is Spider-Man. It's like this guy, what's he from? Is it Spider-Man? What's the he called though? Begins. That one last thing is Spidey. I mean, Spider-Man was like Game of the Year when it came out. 
having it set in the exact same place, obviously, it's got to. That's such a big disadvantage to the variety of swinging around. I don't want to swing around the same bloody city again. Boring. It was boring in Mars Morales because it was the same fucking city. Cover the door. The beast could be anywhere. The beast. Oh, it's got ven venom abilities. You have no idea. Oh, actual gameplay. This whole Whoa. Graphically, alone. looks very similar to the last game. Guess you can't really upgrade much these days. It does look a bit like a bit rough, like a bit blurry, a bit fuzzy. He's gone evil. You've got an actual mini map. God bless you. We're going back to the boots on the ground experience. Lizards across the river. Lizard. I'm not gonna make it in time. His name's Lizard. <gasps> you can switch to Miles. Miles. Amazing. Connors to the Harlem Fish Market. Lizard. Come on it. Is there Sounds like Craven's checking off his. We don't have much time. Move. Got like uh, we'll GTA 5 style switching instantly. Oh, he's got a wingsuit. This looks cool. Yankee. The lizard's loose at the fish market. Must be sushi Ooh. night. You still got the hunter drone you hijacked? Been really tough hiding it from my mom, but yeah, I'll boot up and see you there. Well, oh, yeah, Spider-Man was my they game of the year. Best. And then Mars Morales was a massive disappointment, in my opinion. Can't let him find Connors, or he's done for. This, this could just be too similar, though, I feel. Too much. Of exactly the same. But it does look exactly the same. Spread out. If you find the lizard, don't engage alone. Make your own look at those fish. walk lines. It's been feeding. I never saw it coming. I think they need to start using the open world in the actual main missions because a lot of open world games, the open world will just be there to traverse to the mission and then the mission won't be set in the actual open world. It will be set in a separate instanced area. So they need to start using the open worlds more in the actual missions. What's the, what's the point of having the world if you're not going to use it? Connors tore through this place. He's out of control. So it seems like Miles will be more of the agile one. Maybe the more stealthy one, and Peter with Venom will be more tanky, possibly. This is not... the stream isn't showing this off amazingly. The quality is not great. In the dark spaces. Where am I now? We're in the same building. How'd you find me? Follow the fish. Drones picking up. Is it Vulture? Threat. He's still eating. We can catch him off guard. Genki, get behind me. Professor Genki. Oh my God. Just his skin. He's molted. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Hungrier too. Not necessarily. <laughs> Spider Man. Whoa. Hey man. New threads? The building's swarming with hunters. Any sign of Connors? Uh yeah. Genki's tracking him. Hey, Mr. Parker. Mr. 
Spider-Man, I mean. Uh, but the date is incomplete. Okay, I think I got a lock. Kiki, wait, be chill. That wasn't me. Me neither. I did say that they would be stupid not to have it co-op. It seems to me like it's not going to be co-op. It seems like a massive missed opportunity to have two Spider-Men, Spider-Men, and not have it co-op. I mean, it writes itself, surely. Can't lose Connors. Harry's dying. See these these missions. I like this because it's using the world in the mission. Actually, get to. Oh, I thought you were going to actually drive really, jet skis. Really it's like, what's the point in that? Man. Watch out for those drones. Don't worry. They think I'm a friendly. Oof. Very Uncharted 4 or Uncharted, where you're like slowly going up the vehicle line and like taking the people out. I don't think the NPCs look great. Or well, the character models don't look great. Help the door move! We've gotta save the metal murder! Switch immediately to Spider-Man. I warned you about going after Connors! Now this is on you! Poison clouds! Is that all you've got? Green Goblin. Almost done here. Civilians are all safe. How are you looking? This gunship won't quit. Oh, they both got right the wingsuit. No time. Why would you even do that? <laughs> Fred the needle, just for fun. Time to go boom, boys. Oh, no, no, no. Spider-Man, it's got defenses. Spider-Man, hang on. Over there! The one with the tendrils! Move, move, move! It's the beast. What's he called? Lizard? Oct Octo? They actually expanded the actual city, like on the outskirts. Right behind you. I know, <laughs> oh, it's I know. got the crash cam. It's very, it's very PlayStation, very inspired by like Uncharted in these set pieces. I do not want to be lizard food. It does seem a bit jerky. Could be the stream, or it could be the game. Fisherman, careful! Everyone, take cover. That, this doing? is so uncharted. <laughs> you know you have, you know you can swing from a web, right? You don't need to hold on to this. Oh, he's got his electric powers, yeah. Allie! Oh. Save the tracker. Let's go, man, before he gets too far. No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. <laughs> um, he's not normally like that, right? 
No. He's never like that. It's Venom. Are we gonna have emo Spider-Man? Gonna go dancing. Be greater together. No call. Coming out the end of this year. Well, I feel like people were expecting more actual, like, big PlayStation games other than Spider-Man. For me, the best things there... Dragon's Dogma 2 is the best thing there, because they actually showed the game. But a whole lot of stuff that I'm just not really interested in, really, anymore. A lot of things they just showed and you, you don't know what it is. That looks good, obviously. And Assassin's Creed looks good, but that's not a PlayStation game. Why is it even in this? Maybe engage a little. So Assassin's Creed and Dragon's Dogma 2 and Alan Wake 2 going to more of a Resident Evil style combat system. Maybe maybe focusing more survival horror y stuff. Because Alan Wake 2, Alan Wake 1 was survival horror, but it was very light survival horror. go that's it I feel like people were expecting a lot more from that in terms of like the big PlayStation games because if you're going to do a PlayStation showcase after not doing one for two years apparently I don't know how true that is um, I feel like people are expecting oh you're only doing that because you've got big PlayStation things to show uh, Mogul Solid but didn't show any gameplay. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be done in the style of like Metal Gear Solid 5's gameplay, I would imagine. Uh, well, maybe not. But Dragon's Dogma 2 is probably the best looking thing there, the thing I'd be most excited for, because it's an open world game that isn't done like open world games are done now, hopefully. Hopefully it isn't done like new open world games. Uh, I guess we'll see. And Assassin's Creed looks actually really good. So we'll just have to see. When was the last one? 2021, was it? Was there one in 2022? No. No actual PlayStation showcase. So yeah, it seems odd. Have it called a PlayStation Showcase. With only like a couple of recognized. I mean, Spider Man. And what else? <laughs> what other like big PlayStation things were there? Spider Man. <laughs> Let's have a look. Do it. Like, we, I don't know if any of these games are actually exclusive or not. I don't think they are. Metal Gear Solid might be. People are saying, I think rumours were it wasn't exclusive. Final Fantasy, I guess, Watch is PlayStation timed exclusive. So PlayStation and... Spider-Man, and obviously the VR VR games of PlayStation. And Bungie with Marathon, but again, they've just announced that it's coming. They haven't, like, 
<laughs> they haven't shown anything off. I just don't see the point of. Sh it's like going to school with your homework and all you've written is your name at the top of it and the date and that's it. It's like, where's the fucking homework? You haven't done it. What's the point of coming with just a title and a cinematic trailer? It just seems silly. I really hope this starts to change, but it doesn't seem like it's changing at all. We've got a good chunk of gameplay, 10 minutes. Looks really good, but I'm worried I'm might just be sick of these types of games now. We'll see. Uh, yeah. If it wasn't a PlayStation Showcase, it'd probably be really good. But because it's a PlayStation Showcase, I can't help but feel underwhelmed. I, don't, I would have liked to have seen more PlayStation stuff. You know, anticipation is everything. Uh, not having one for two years, calling it a PlayStation Showcase, you expect big things, I think. I feel like they could have just done a state of play where they showed off a few VR games, you know, Marathon and Spider-Man. And that would be like a 20-minute... 30 minutes state of play and that'd be fine. All of these games are just like random indie games. Because that's the problem with indie games. They just don't make the same splash in terms of in, you, in your memory. They may be amazing. They may be game of the year quality, but they just don't stick out in your head from a big show like this. <laughs> And it's really indie games are so fifty fifty as well. They 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 could be amazing or they could be really bad. They they indie games always look amazing, and then you have no idea if they're gonna actually be good games because they have amazing artists, insanely talented artists, and then they usually don't have any good gameplay like directors. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see if there's any news about, like, exclusive stuff. Oh, it's a PvP twist on Marathon. Oh, I was hoping it would be, like, an actual spy... Uh, sorry, a single-player thing. That's... PvP... At least it's not, like, PvP... PV... PvP... PV... PvP... VE... VP. At least it's not that kind of thing. At least it's just straight-up multiplayer. Hopefully not Battle Royale. Retro Trilogy headed to PS5 this autumn. So there's no platform exclusivity was claimed, so we'd expect it to launch elsewhere too. We just need more information. People want it, and they don't give it. I'm walking, looking into the moon. I feel like these these shows are designed for those. You've seen those like compilation videos of like top streamers react, and they're they're so over the top. I could never get that excited over something from an announcement like crazy man like calm down calm the fuck down <laughs> jesus maybe it's because i'm british and cynical yeah i'm like can't get dad excited like dragon's dogma i'm like oh because i kind of just forgot that they were making it i'm like oh and actually showing gameplay they didn't do a they announced they were making it but they didn't announce it with a cinematic trailer they just announced we're making it and and they're like, the first proper showing of it is an actual gameplay trailer with like story elements in game. Cool. Hopefully they can fix. I mean, the issues with Dragon's Dogma was the quest design was not very user friendly, to say the least. You could fail quests without even realizing. Like, you could go too far into the game and a quest would fail and there'd be no warning which was 
very frustrating. Um, and there was only one save slot, and so you couldn't like reload a save. It was me annoying and messy. Uh, so there were definitely issues with it, but it was still an amazing game. Uh, DLC. I played the DLC for the first time like a couple years ago, and it's like a massive dungeon. You go down and down and down and down, and it was very hard. I liked it, but it wasn't necessarily what I liked the most about Dragon's Dogma. It was for the very hardcore fans. Very hardcore fans. Because Dragon Dogma is a very hard game in and of itself. In, especially in some areas. It could be like Dark Souls level hard. So. Maybe make it a tad easier. <laughs> a tad easier. But I think they actually had an easy difficulty. Actually. It has like the best magic gameplay of like any game just feels amazing the prince of persia sends a time remake is starting from scratch adds a new protagonist saga anderson is it just gonna be is she the main protagonist If it's like Resident Evil 2, where you have like Leon and Claire, that's fine. But if she's like the main protagonist, that could be... You shouldn't call it Alan Wake 2 if, if you don't play as Alan Wake. And they're... Apparently they're helping with the... Like Max Payne remakes as well. Aren't they making a Max Payne remake? <laughs> Was Helldivers... Was the original Helldivers top down? Yes. So they're going like big triple A with this, which is interesting. I played, I think I played this and I didn't like it. Like this is very indie, very budget. And then this is like massive fucking like insane graphics. I think that's the thing now. Like, Unreal Engine has made it so easy to just have insane graphics, but not necessarily run well. You and uh, Well, that was the PlayStation Showcase. I'm going to go back on Like a Dragon Ishin.